with uh, Ken Karklin here at uh, day one of Oshkosh, uh, talking vertical lift, personal operated vehicles. And Ken, uh, with Opener being here, what do we have behind us here? Tell me a little bit about this particular aircraft. So this is the Black Fly. It's been in development for over a decade since the very first proof of concept vehicle was built. It's gone through three complete generations design turns from top to bottom. So it's, it's actually been a maturing aircraft for, for quite some time now. Now I joined the company about 14 months ago, took the help from our founder, Marcus Leng, who really invented this whole idea of tilt aircraft EV tall. We've now got probably two dozen vehicles that have been built and flown. We've reached a point in, in training people to operate it where we're up close to 20 people who have been trained to operate the vehicle and have, have taken it up and flown it on their own. We've got the simulators, those are used in training, but what really special happened over the past couple months is we actually sold the very first vehicle to an early access participant. His name is Tim Lum. He happens to be here today. And he took delivery of that vehicle back in June at his place up in northern Washington. And he's out flying on his own terms on a regular basis now. That's outstanding news. Congratulations on that. What are some of the uh, advancements that you've seen in Opener most recently? You know, most recently we've matured the amphibious capability of the vehicle. So you might notice a, a little change to its, uh, its profile. We've actually got these uh, outrigger wing floats that are a little more pronounced than uh, anything we've had before. And we've been working on the amphibious operation to make sure that we've got that really robust multiple takeoff and landing concept of operations working really well. Although that's not gonna be a feature we actually deliver to the consumer Regularly, they're actually going to be restricted to emergency landings in the water. Military might be something a little bit different. We look at it from a safety and from a product liability point of view, that uh, it's not a water toy, it's not a seaplane, but that capability of landing safely in the water is just another way that we're delivering you know, capability and safety to our operators, which we put number one in everything we do. You'd kind of touched on a little bit there. What are you doing in the world with uh, our friends in the Department of Defense? Anything there that you can share? Uh, not a lot of detail at this point, but you know this is an aero architecture, so tilt aircraft EV tall that has utility beyond personal transit mission that we're we're pursuing, you know, in Part 103. And we're also looking at larger aircraft for the future state that might actually fall into the the light sport category or will probably find their way to some kind of certification through the proposed mosaic structure should that come to pass sometime in the near term. And we're looking at manned, unmanned, and manned-unmanned teaming, all as technologies that can be integrated with a tilt aircraft EV tall to fulfill a, a, a wide range of, of missions and utilities from firefighting to medevac uh, and, and many more. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com.